guys, it's May May, and it is time to announce the winners, two winners, of a pack of our homemade with love paper made by Cartabella, and this giveaway is sponsored by Miss Judy Garner, and I appreciate so many of you telling her thank you. That was so sweet of you. The comments have just been amazing to read, and I want to tell you something. I read every comment, but when I'm doing a giveaway where the comments are the entry, I don't respond. And the reason is, it's it's too hard for me to go delete my own comments out. It's a lot. And I want to show you this. We had 397 entries. Do you see all these names? This took a little while to compile, so that's why the video is not right at noon. Um, I want to tell you, because of how many entries we have, which I think is amazing and wonderful, I couldn't be any happier about it. Next time we do a giveaway, I will probably be forced to use something like Rafflecopter, which is really easy. It basically does the giveaway for me. You just kind of go put your email in, and um, a lot of people are using it nowadays. I don't know if you've entered any of Christina Werner's videos recently. She uses it. Um, a lot of other people are using it, and I think we may have to go to that because of how long it's taken me to compile this. I did not cut all the entries apart once I printed them. I just numbered them because we're going to use random.org, which is what I like to use anyway. And this is typically how I do this, is just number them. But in the past, I've only had to number, you know, 100, 200, but three, almost 400 was a lot. So, these are our entries. And here's what we're going to do. I want to tell you real quick, and then we're going to get started. I have my recipe book here with me, and a lot of you had asked me if I would share with you what it looked like as I started to write in it. So, I'm going to do that in this video. And I also want to tell you a little bit about this recipe book, which I think is super cool, and we'll get to that. All right, I'm going to announce the winners first. So, if you're not interested in the recipe books and going through the stuff I want to talk about, you can go. You don't have to hang out. Um, I'm on random.org. This is my phone, and I'm on random.org. I hope you can see that. And I have the generator saying number 1 through 397. So we're going to generate a winner. And the winner is 125. So this is the first winner. Let's go find number 125. And that person is... There are so many this time. Here it is. That person is... Create 557, and I'm going to read her entry. Hello, May May. First, thank you to you to your very generous subby for the giveaway. I would give the recipe book a go. The paper is fabulous for it, Diana. So I'm going to circle number 125, and then I will um I will message you on Facebook. That's the easiest way for me. I know it's not the best way, but it's the easiest way. So I, not on Facebook. I'll message you on YouTube, and then if you'll email me. Before Sunday night at midnight. That's what I'm going to redraw on Monday morning if I haven't heard from you guys. So by Sunday night on midnight, create 557, email me back or respond to me. All right, now I'm going to stack these back up and we're going to pull for the second one. All right, so there they are. And I'm going to generate one more time. Let me make sure you guys can see this. Generate. And the number is number 146. So let's see who this is. Dun, 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 dun. 160s, 150s. Number 146, let pick it up, is Ogdendal. I hope I said that right. Or OG Dendal. I don't know. But this says, I have a recipe box that needs a new look. This paper would be great to cover it. Thanks for the chance to win, Judy and May May. You're so generous. Awesome. So, I'm going to circle number 146. And again, I'm going to message you on YouTube. And you have till Sunday night at midnight to respond to me. And then Monday, we'll draw for new winners. So, congratulations, you two. That's awesome. And you get this paper pack. And it will actually be coming to you from Miss Judy, who wouldn't even allow me to pay the postage, guys. She is absolutely taking care of this whole thing. And so, I can not be more appreciative of that. That is awesome. So good luck. And you see I have another pack, so I'll be doing something with it. I can't wait to get started. I love that paper so much. All right, I'm going to put these aside. And if you just wanted to know who the winners are, you're done. You can go on and move on. You don't even have to stick around. Let me make sure my volume's off. <laughs> There's nothing worse than getting a tweet or something while we're doing this. Okay, so these two books I wanted to show you. This is the book I made using the um, the home, Homemade with Love paper pack from Cartabella. I love this book. And a lot of you had asked me if I would share with you when I started putting recipes in it. So I've got some recipes in, so I'm going to show you that. But before we do it, I want to talk to you about this. Um, this is a church that we used to go to a long time ago. Vince and I were um, 
youth ministers and children's ministers and everything there. And we had a program called Bible Scouts, and we created this recipe book way back then to sell. We sold these books for $10. Look at this big, huge book. And I typed every single thing in here. Well, me and my mother, we typed everything in here and created this book. Well, the recipes were from people in the church. And um, they either put them in in honor of or in memory of someone, or they were just submitted by someone. And so you can see all of these recipes. Well, the cool thing to me is that some of these are my family's recipes. Like, for example, this is boiled cookies, and this was submitted by my mother, and then it was in memory of my grandmother. And then, uh, let's see, that was in desserts. This one, cheeseburger pie. This is so cool. This is um, in, was submitted by my mother and in memory of my other grandmother. And here's what's cool about this. My mom still has the recipe book that my grandmother used. And when you open to this page, there'll, there'll be food. You can see food splattered on it. And I promise I'm going to get a picture of that to, to post on our Facebook page so you guys can see it. Mom's told me that she's going to take a picture and send it to me. So I'll remind her. We're having dinner tonight, so I'll remind her of that. I just wanted to show you that. So what I've been doing with my book is some of those recipes I've transferred out of there into here. I haven't done nearly, the book is nowhere near full. I've just done several. So let's show you. So I told you I was going to put on my tabs, apps, mains, sides, and desserts. So in apps, I don't have very many. I have artichoke and spinach dip because it's one of my favorites. Then I have Vince's um, sausage balls because I love those too. And so I only have the two apps in here. Then for main dishes, I have put in Grandma Dobbs cheeseburger pie because I wanted to have that in my own handwriting. And at the bottom, my mother does this, and I think this is so cute. When she writes a recipe down, she'll put little notes about the recipe. So my note for this one was, Mama has Grandma's original cookbook. So if, I don't know, this passes down to my daughter-in-law or to any of my sons or any of my daughter-in-laws, um, you know, although I only have one right now, hey Sam, um, <laughs> I will, they'll have little notes to tell them about the recipes. So there's grandma's cheeseburger pie, and then this is pineapple chicken. And remember I told you that I was going to use those stickers in different places? This recipe is my guy, my little guy Thomas's favorite, the pineapple chicken. So on that sticker I wrote T-Man's fave, so that's the little note for that one. I think that's all I've got in here. Let's go to sides. Okay, I don't have hardly any sides. I have like one. So garlic mashed potatoes. This is something I made that the boys really liked. But in desserts, I have several, and we're going to put one in today. I'll come back to this one for a second. In this one, I have Meemaw's Pecan Pie. And the note that I made on this one, right down here by the sticker, is this is Jared's favorite pie. He always asks Meemaw for this one, because every Christmas or every holiday, that's what he wants. This is Mama's Strawberry Cake, or also known as May May's Birthday Cake, because every year Mom makes this strawberry cake for me. Almost more, more years than not, I get this strawberry cake for my birthday. And so in my notes, I put Mama made this cake for May May's birthday more years than not. So I actually said that there too. And then this is the boiled cookies I showed you in my recipe book. This is that recipe. And so I wrote that in here. And the note that I put, which I think is so funny, I put Mama would make these for Billy, who's my brother, Danny, who's my brother, and me for May May. Um, they called it the poo poo platter. Now here's why. These cookies are not very pretty to look at, but they are delicious to eat because they are chocolate and oatmeal and peanuts. I mean, and uh, pecans. And you can imagine, so they're not very pretty to look at. And when she'd put them on a plate, my brothers would make fun of it and call it the poo poo platter. So um, I put. Um, that they called them that because of how they looked, and Mama hated that they did that, and she did. She couldn't stand that. So anyway, I started loading some, loading some in, and today we're going to add another one. Do you see this little recipe in my pocket? This is the coolest thing. I was so excited I had made this recipe book. My neighbor, her name is Melissa, and she makes this pound cake that is amazing. And when she makes it, guys, she makes it in a pound cake... Um, what are they, like a loaf pan, a pound cake pan, that is twice the size of a regular one. So it's like two pound cakes in one, which is good for my family of, you know, six people plus. And so my son Josh loves pound cake, and she found out, and she has made this cake for us on several occasions and brought it over. So for Christmas this year, it was happy and sad. She brought over the pound cake, but she also brought me the recipe because she's moving away, and so that's kind of sad. But I love that she brought me this in her own handwriting. How cool is this, right? So here's what we're going to do. We're putting it in our book. I think it will be so neat to keep it just like it is in the book. And all my boys will remember Miss Melissa because she's lived here forever. You know, for I think three or four years she's lived here. And so we're going to miss her. And she told me, she said, 
are you sad? I said, I'm sad, but I'm glad I got the recipe. And she was like, well, I'm glad that you got that too. All right, so I'm just going to put this in this book, just like this. And I already wrote at the top, Melissa's Pound Cake. And then at the bottom, Melissa was one of our neighbors for three or four years, and she made this for us often. So that way, when the boys get it or whoever gets this book, they'll know that that's what that is. Anyway, I just wanted to share some of my recipes that I have in my book already and how much I'm loving filling it up. Now, the other thing I want to encourage you guys to do is over on our Facebook group, May May Made It, and so did I, I want to get you guys to put pictures of some of your favorite recipe books or recipes that you have. Just show us what they look like. Um, like I said, I'm going to get a picture of my grandma's, hopefully today. Maybe I can get mom to do that. But then just show me a picture of maybe your index cards or your recipe folder or a recipe that's special to you and give us a little story about it. I would love to hear it. So the link for that Facebook page will be below. Be sure to um, sign up for that. And then don't forget, tomorrow over on Vinny's Vittles channel, we'll have a new recipe up. It's a quick one and an easy one, and I think you'll like it. Hey, congratulations to our winners again. Thank you, Miss Judy, for everything you do for me and continue to do. You are an amazing person. You guys, she is a sweetheart. So if you don't mind saying thank you to her in this video, that would be awesome. All right, guys, have a great one. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.